Hi, everyone, and welcome to Café Azteca, uh, January 27th at 3 p.m. in English. We were unable to record the original Café Azteca, um, but that's okay. What we did do is we recorded the audio of Chat with the Principal, and in this method, I will play the audio for you and share you the slides. That way, you don't miss a thing. So stay tuned to hear Café Azteca, Chat with the Principal from January 27th. question and answers, uh, and I'm sure we'll, there will be some questions, so we're going to jump right into it. So welcome. Uh, today is instructional day number 93. We just completed uh, instructional day number 93. So there are 87 school days left. We're, we're over the halfway mark. Um, and so just we, we, we start our meetings. Honesty, keep it light, respect, stay engaged, start and end on time, and we make collaborative decisions. So once an Aztec, always an Aztec. Team, our wrestling team, we all celebrated our 
down in Color Guard. Um, and uh, we, it was just a fun event uh, during lunchtime. Um, on top, uh, you see some of our English students um, collaborating with one another about a book that, they, that they're reading. At the bottom, uh, we see our, our girls uh, basketball team shooting three-pointers and, and winning. Soccer teams playing uh, yesterday. They beat Glasgow five to zero, uh, and I think that the picture on top is a great picture that you know just shows uh, their competitors today. But next year they're going to be um, on the same team, uh, and so you see uh, uh, our basketball team is the same thing. The, the, the picture on the right is all uh, against Glasgow. So 
it's going to be an exciting time for the seniors. So just make sure the, to follow us on Instagram and, and, and social media, and you'll be seeing some more pictures like like uh, these two students that have already gotten full ride scholarships to Stanford and to Scripps, uh, highly prestigious colleges. Want to give a, a, a big shout out uh, to our parents. Um, as of right now, uh, we are in first place with our parent surveys. Uh, however, they did extend the uh, the survey, um, so I, I want to see. Um, we can add the survey link uh, to the chat box because I want to make sure that we click on it. Uh, Ms. Malgoza and Ms. Uh, and Ms. Lizzie, because uh, if, if there's anything that you hear today, um, uh, what happened in the Spanish uh, uh, meeting is that a lot of parents wanted to add uh, their thoughts about um, this is a high, and they wanted to add information as to how they want to see the school move forward. Uh, and so they they um, they wanted uh, um, to. We told them like this is a good time to add your thoughts uh, to the survey. So if you haven't filled it out, please fill it out. If somebody in your household hasn't filled it out, please. Work with them to fill it out uh, because we want to we want to hear what you like about the school. We want to hear what we can improve, uh, and we also want to hear how the district can improve as well. So, uh, Ms. Lizzie, yes. Question: I did mine like right at the beginning, but like my thoughts my thoughts have changed. So, can I do it again? Yes. So that's what we're saying. Uh, <laughs> that that uh, add information, share your thoughts, and um, and again, we want it to be constructive feedback and and how we can. Um, uh, make sure that uh, uh, it's, it's feedback that we can grow from. It All right, might, no, I, I understand that. I just like it might say. I just want to make sure that I'm... it might say you already Go completed. Ahead. It might say you already completed the survey because I I think I attempted it. I I I wanted to see if I could enter it again. So you might have to try a different phone or a different um platform. Just. Checking okay. on that, but yeah, maybe from your if, if okay. like your kids, <laughs> your kids' email or something. Like that. Oh, all right, sounds good. I'll do that. Thank you. And if you did complete it the first week or the first few days, and you didn't, and you didn't get to hear about the opportunity to be entered into a raffle once you completed it, uh, just send me an email, and. I trust that you'll be honest in saying that you completed the survey and I'll include you in the list for the raffle. Okay. Perfect. Um, so any, if you don't have any other questions, um, I, I do want you to share the parent survey, the link uh, with your, uh, with other Aztec parents, but because uh, we want to hear uh, how we can improve, uh, uh, continue to improve the school. Uh, and the district, so please share it, um, uh, and we want to get as much feedback as possible. Uh, so just some contact tracing update. We want to share that um, since we return from um, since we return from from break. winter break, it's it's definitely been a, a challenge uh, with keeping track of, of students and staff and uh, and COVID and, and making sure everyone's healthy. Um, and so we, we, we had to change the way we were contact tracing. Uh, in the past, uh, before winter break, it was, uh, if we're in this group, and let's say uh, uh, me, Martin, uh, had COVID, uh, a teacher, uh, an administrator would go into the classroom and ask the teacher, okay, who are the students that sat around, sat around Martin? And, and the teacher would identify Letty, Maritza, Lizzie, and, and uh, Elisa. And so those four students we would pull into into a, a classroom, uh, ask them if they want to be tested, and, and talk to those four students. However, because we, we, we did have a spike, we did have an increase that we, uh, uh, at, at a rate that we weren't able to keep up with. And so now what we do is, um, instead of talking to the visual aid students, uh, we sent the entire class an email that a student in the classroom tested positive. Um, and if you have any symptoms, please stay home. If you want to get tested, please come see us. Uh, during lunchtime or after school uh, in Portable 7 uh, because we want to make sure that we keep um, uh, that people feel safe and they are safe and, and healthy. Uh, and so uh, I'm sure you've received emails that you hadn't received before. Uh, and so we just want to, we just want to make sure that you, that you uh, uh, check uh, on your family uh, uh, and if they have any symptoms, if they come here in Azusa, uh, keep them home and get them tested 
uh, and make sure they, they, uh, they can return um, uh, when they have no symptoms um, and, and it comes out negative. At the same time, uh, the kids can do their work from home because the majority of teachers are, are putting homework assignments on Google Classroom. So any questions on the contact tracing? Yes, I have a question. So when a parent says, I got an email or I got a text, um, for me as an employee, I say, okay, well, if your student is having or has symptoms, um, then they stay home. If you're, or it's just to kind of keep an eye on your kid, right? And if they do feel sick, keep them home, get them tested. If not, do they continue to come to school if they feel fine? Okay, so let me, on my end, you broke up a little bit. Can you repeat the, 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 the scenario? Okay, so if a parent calls me and says, oh, I got the text or the email that says my child was in con uh, close contact, what do I do? Do I tell that parent, um, well, if your kid has symptoms, they need to stay home, um, but it's basically to give you the heads up to keep an eye on your kid, Correct. right? And if they're fine, they can continue coming to school. Correct. So in this scenario that, that I shared, um, where, where I was positive and the four of you were close contacts and you all received an email, uh, if you all uh, feel uh, have no symptoms, you can continue coming to school. Uh, let's say if Letty and Maritza have, uh, have a runny nose or a fever, um, then Letty and Maritza, we, we ask you to stay home, take a test, and then you can return when the test comes out negative and, and you have, have no symptoms, right? So, um, and, and, and Lizzie and, and Lisa can continue to come because they, ha they don't have any symptoms. Um, it's, it's been... It's been a challenge uh, with, with this recent um, uh, uh, COVID strand, COVID virus, uh, because it has uh, uh, more staff members and more students have, have uh, gotten it, and we just want to make sure that we stay safe. I always tell the students to, to mask up uh, uh, unless you're eating, but make sure you're wearing a mask as much as possible, and we want to make sure that uh, your kiddos are safe um, on campus. child does have symptoms and they I decide to keep them home um, who do I contact at the school and what do I let them know so they it becomes an excused absence or unexcused okay so yeah so that was a good question um, uh, if, if I keep my son or daughter home who do I contact but I just added the, the email to our attendance lead, uh, clerk um, you can email her uh, let her know that he's gonna, uh, that your son or daughter is going to stay home for medical reasons. Uh, but uh, you can excuse the absence, but they're still marked absent. Uh, one of the concerns was like, well, I'm calling it in. They shouldn't be marked absent. Uh, uh, but but the, we, we, we mark them. They're, they're marked absent, uh, but they're, it's an excused absence. So again, uh, Ms. Guillas... Uh, email was included, so you, so you can email them. Um, and then also we want to, uh, if, if you have uh, uh, any, any other questions about attendance, or, uh, uh, which you can't, if, let's say if, if your son or daughter um, catches COVID and, and they're okay and they can do work from home, um, your son or daughter can also join uh, independent studies, uh, the independent studies program, uh, which will allow them to, to stay home while they have COVID and do the work. And they, they won't be marked absent, they'll be marked present because they're doing work from home. I hope that makes sense. Cool. Is, is that the link, Marissa, for uh, the independent studies? Yeah. Okay. 
Marissa just added the link for independent study. So if, if uh, any of your kids have stayed home for three days, five days, or ten days because of COVID, and they did work during that time, uh, please click on that link um, and, and, and fill out the information. And, and the district and the school site will, will work to not only uh, excuse the absences, but also remove the absences because your son or daughter was doing work while, while they were at home. Okay. Uh, also, with regards to the transition, going back to uh, Ms. Casera, uh, the questions that you were asking, uh, uh, for next year, uh, a transition will be occurring. Um, so for next year, uh, I will be transitioning uh, to another position, um, uh, either uh, as another position within the district. So uh, it's bittersweet, um, but it's, it's also uh, excited to be able to support in another capacity. Uh, and so I want to just give a... Uh, 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 Remind parents that all of the hard work that you have been doing, uh, our, our, all, all of the hard work that our cheer team has been doing, that uh, the parent center has been doing, is going to continue. And we, we just want to uh, continue to um, celebrate um, because imagine now with instead of instead of 1,000 kids, we're going to be close to 1,900 kids and, and how many um, uh, more opportunities and more classes we're going to have to continue moving the program forward. So I'm excited. Uh, for the continue uh, 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 larger school and continue improvement of Azusa High School. Also, uh, the board did vote to change the Aztec, Aztec as a mascot. Um, uh, possible change of colors. There will be a committee that will be deciding. So please keep an ear up. Um, I know uh, uh, Ms. Christina, she, she, uh, there will be some speakers at the February 1st board meeting. Um, and again, you parents, you community members are the voice, you are the vote, and it's important for you to, to tell the, the, um, um, the, the board how you feel about mascot, whether you're in favor or not. Uh, uh, on our end, we're going to um, do the best with what we have, uh, and uh, uh, as of right now, the, the, the Aztec mascot will change, um, but the, the colors are up for discussion, and so make sure you, you uh, if you want to be part of that committee, uh, please find uh, when we uh, have information. We'll make sure to share it. Um, Miss uh, Miss Christina, do you have any information that you want to share with regards to the board meeting? Sorry, I'm, I'm, we're in the middle of taking pictures. I hope it's not too loud. Um, in regards to our last meeting, well, I mean, we're. I'm a little. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm a little upset right now about the whole Aztec thing. Um. I kind of want to cry, so I kind of don't want to talk. And I'm upset that you're leaving, too, to be honest. You're leaving us, mister. Ms. <laughs> Casino, you were listening to what I just said? I was. I was literally, yeah. Where are you, where are you going? So, um, they're, uh, they're, I'm going to be supporting the district in a different capacity. Uh, there's a lot of moving parts, so that hasn't, they haven't informed uh, us yet. Um, but, we'll be supporting the school sites in a different capacity. I get that. I understand that. And I'm grateful that you're still going to be in the district. Yeah. It's just, I think it's really upsetting to us, your parents, and your colleagues, too, you know? Uh, not, not to Letty, I'm sure, but yeah, everybody else. <laughs> Letty and Marissa, uh, when I said it, they were waving the pom-poms. <laughs> <laughs> I threw away my pom poms. Wow. I threw them away. I have some for your <laughs> No, it was really sad. I sent him a lot of upset memes uh, directly to his phone, yeah. just to, so he knew that I was upset. <laughs> but I'm I'm happy. I'm happy for you, and I'm glad that you're gonna be here at least till June. But the hard work moving forward is gonna continue. The hard work, like everything that we've done to improve the instruction, uh, uh, you know, to have a, a safe uh, school climate and culture like that's going to continue um uh, and it's all about uh making sure that our kiddos and our staff um are, are feel motivated and safe um and i hope at least that uh, they can they can continue moving forward with that so i'm, I'm excited um for, for the continuing improvement of azusa high school yeah. any questions with regards to the to the mascot change of colors uh, again, uh, be ready to have those conversations when they come up, and, and we hope that we get some some um, some uh, some of our 
parents and our students to, to be part of that committee. Yes, Ms. Christina. Christina, did you raise your hand? She's out there taking uh, pictures with the chair team, so it's probably a mistake. All right, so let's keep it going. So, like I said earlier, we will continue to have a fantastic 65th year. Um, our, we're super, super jazzed that uh, the, the, fate, the school, uh, as we combine it to one larger school, I'm sure it's going to be getting a facelift. Uh, and so we're excited uh, that, that, you know, we're, we're going to uh, become a larger school. And with, with a larger school, we're going to have more programs and uh, a more competitive sports and more competitive uh, band and so it's going to be a good thing for the community. It's just going to take a while to get used to it, but we're excited. Let's continue to have a fantastic 65th year. And I'm going to go ahead and hand it off to, I think this part is uh, Letty and Marissa. Yes. Yes. Sorry. Slow computer. Um, so again, if anyone needs any guidance or have it, have any questions on connections to community organizations or, or partners that could assist in any way, um, connecting you to mental health referrals, physical health referrals, tutoring, job employment searches, um, housing information, after school activities that are free or anything in particular, you're just looking for information, you already did some research and you just can't find someone that can help support or answer your questions, feel free to reach out to myself or Miss Tanya Alvarez, where uh, room five is where the thrift store is and also like a, a community resource center. So any questions you have, we'll be happy to connect you to to finding those answers. And the there's also a QR code or a link that you can submit like a referral form through the parent tab on the school website. Um, and it's also available on the monthly newsletters that I send out. So you'll get another monthly newsletter for February 1st. And that's where you can find that information. And again, your parents also are very much welcome to come into the thrift store and grab some items for yourself, for your family. Um, the kids have a lot of fun in here and uh, it's really exciting to see them um, get some items that maybe they couldn't before or just feeling a little grown up without having to actually pay for for clothes that is lightly used or even new. And the second slide, I believe, is let these. Yes, everybody, um, we want to let you know that they have extended the annual family survey. Um, for those who haven't had a chance, it has been extended till February 4th. Um, if you need help or need to use a Chromebook, we will be um, open after school um, Monday and Tuesday and Thursday and Friday from 2 to 3 so that you guys can come in and use a Chromebook. Maybe you can park and um, just come in real quick, take the survey, and, you know, um, when the bell rings, um, you can go home with your kids. Um, if you need to come in the morning, let us know. Um, we know in the morning is a little bit more tough with the parking and the dropping off kids. But if you guys need to come in, just give us a call. We have the Chromebooks here. We can help you use your phone, your tablet, whatever it is that you want to use. Um, we'll be more than happy to help. Um, so please take that survey. We hope your students have taken that survey. Um, anybody in the community that you think should be taking the survey, please uh, uh, spread the word for us. Thank you. And don't forget there's a raffle. Okay, there is a raffle. I always forget that raffle too. And then upcoming events we have on the third, we have Cafe Azteca. On the fourth, our survey ends. Uh, the 11th is a PBIS schedule. We go by a little bit of a different schedule that day because the kids do get a PBIS lesson um, in their second period, I believe. And also, we like to let you guys know because we know doctors, appointments, dentists, whatever appointments you guys have, and it can kind of throw off the schedule. So please uh, be aware of that. Um, no school on February 14th because it's Valentine's Day. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's Lincoln's birthday. <laughs> the 17th, we have Cafe Azteca. And again, the 21st, we have no school for President's Day. And it's also important for you guys to know that on 23rd of February, from 6 to 7, we have promotores of mental health. Um, there will be an emotional health um, and the brain effects of COVID. 
via Zoom. If you guys need assistance with Zoom, also give us a call and let us know. Um, on the 25th, the end of the fourth triad, it's coming up really quick. So please keep a, an eye on that Aries account. And if you ever need help resetting, uh, resetting your password or how to get out to Aries, again, give us a call. We'll be more than happy to help you out. And uh, for a date that I did forget to add was February 7th. Um, through the 10th or 11th, I believe, um, in the main office, we will be accepting the donations for the thrift store, right? So we just want to let you guys know we appreciate all the support and everybody who's really donated really great stuff, everything. We really do appreciate it. The kids, it's really nice to see them walking with, you know, with their stuff. And, um, you know, thanks to Maritza and Tanya for great job that they're doing and keeping it up and so all your support thank you so much and again um if you guys have any donations that'll be a perfect time to come in and drop it off in the main office okay thank you yes thank you Lethe. i forgot about that <laughs> february the week of the 7th through 11th of february is where the drop off um or collection of the donations are perfect and it looks like Dr. Gomez got called away. So uh, don't forget to follow us at, I'm back. <laughs> at Aziza Aztecs HS on Facebook and at Instagram and Twitter. Uh, you can also see our school website at azizahighschool.net or go to the AUSD.org website and then search under our schools. And it's very important to check attendance and grades. Every Friday, you get notified by email on just checking in on those grades, especially as the fourth triad comes to a close next month. So this time is yours, uh, Ms. Lizzie, Ms. Elisa, Ms. Christina. Uh, any questions, comments, my email is there. Uh, you can email us. Uh, but just questions or comments. Before we um, move on. I, have, I have a comment. Yes. So we had, um, it's, a, it's a positive one. It just, uh, like, um, I kind of have this thing every single day, this routine that I go with her to try and encourage her. And she went to the wellness center and literally came home saying that she had a good day. And I literally, like, almost cried because my daughter did not come home, like, really happy. So, and not not from, not because she's not happy at the school. It's just she just had, she deals with a lot of anxiety. So, the fact that she was able to go there was really, really cool. Um, I didn't know that it was all that she described it to be. So, I think maybe, I mean, just as great as the, you know, the, the, the dress shop, I think that that should be promoted a little bit more, too, because I didn't know, like, I didn't know what that was about. And that was really cool. Yep. And then, obviously, you know, all of you guys, um, thank you guys for everything that you guys always do. I just want to tell you guys thank you. And, and Martin, you're literally the best principal. And I, I hope you understand that. I, I know everybody agrees with me. When I say that, well, you just need to know that before. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, well, I don't know. I don't even have to hear with him technically. So I don't know how good he is. Oh. <laughs> well, you can have to that right now every day, okay? Friday, all day, 7.30 to 4, and I'm going to help them out a little bit and grab some attraction to their to their room. So tomorrow at lunch, I'm going to roll out some of the clothes, and the kids, I'm going to promote it, and I'm going to have them pop into the well-being center while they do some shopping. So hopefully that gets some traction. You may need uh, DJ Rob in there. <laughs> DJ Rob. <laughs> Playing a few sounds of Azusa High. Yes. Any other questions? Uh, welcome, Sophia. 
Yeah. Any other questions? My hand is raised. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Ms. Lizzie, questions? I just have a, a, like a general question. With this whole mascot situation, obviously, I feel like I obviously I talked to my son about it, and I I don't like I don't think the kids see it as a bad thing. The ones that are in school right now, but I know I spoke to many parents that went to Azusa, and I think that's where it's it's affecting the parents more because of you know what it what it means to them and how proud they are to be Aztecs. Um, my question is, who you know how everything's obviously. I gotta have to change my whole wardrobe because everything has an Aztec. Um, for the school, who's gonna pay for all the changes? Like, is it you know? Like, like that's my question. Like, how is how is this coming about? Because pretty much our whole school is covered in Aztecs. Yeah, and that's, that's uh, that was one of the uh, concerns from the community with regards to like the. The cost that it's going to change, um, all of these things, um, they should instead um, spend on programs and exactly the and or keeping the schools open because there's a lot of parents already complaining about the two schools, my school, Pau and Magnolia, because they're on the other side of Azusa and yeah. they're super concerned about all that. They're like, they should be worried about that, not. <clears throat> You know, yes. because I've never, I guess, I didn't grow up in Azusa, you know, and I know what it means to my husband's family, which is Christina, my husband, and all his sisters. I remember picking up Christina from drama class, and there was a big Aztec right there. And now my son is an Aztec, so now it's like, yeah. it, it, it's starting to become a big problem because that's, that's what they are. I'm a, I'm a no gallons noble, by the way. Go <laughs> nobles! <laughs> but it's such a, it's such a big deal. But we're, uh, we were thinking, like, so where is this money coming from? Like, we just got a new field. Okay. Yeah, yes, yes, to all of that, Ms. Lizzie, and, and like I said, that, that's 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 a question that we we asked um, at, at the board meeting. Um, and again, I know there's one on, on Tuesday, February first. I'm sure there's going to be lots of folks. Uh, that want to discuss this with the board, um, and uh, yeah, we're we're excited that we're going to be able to combine both schools into one. Um, not so excited about the mascot change, but we're going to do the best with what we have, and we're going to continue to move the programs forward. I, I can assure you that part. Um, uh, but the other politics piece that that's something that you will have to discuss with your elected officials. No, I know. I, I have a question about that, Christina. Is the the meeting? Because on the email it says, is it a Zoom meeting or can we physically go? It's both. It they should be both. I think it's in person and and virtual. From what I what okay. I saw. I'm not I'm not sure, uh, Christina. Let's find out about that. I think it's virtual, but but um uh, because it's the same night as as parent of the year. And that's going to be virtual. Oh. Uh, because I have parents. The parents are already asking me, and I don't want to give them the wrong information. And then everyone shows up to the district, <laughs> and it's closed. <laughs> so I want to make sure that I'm giving out the right information. So we'll get the info, and then we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and share it. But also remind these families that um, if, if they want to uh, share how they feel, to make sure they fill out the Youth Truth Survey that I just added again in the chat box. Um, share uh, with, with family members that have Azusa Aztecs uh, so they can share how they feel. Hi, I'm Mr. Verduzco. Sofia, uh, thank you for waiting. Um, maybe I missed it, but what is the main reason they're changing the mascot? So the, the, the main reason that, that I heard um, was that... Uh, uh, some folks felt that the Aztec um, uh, was offensive uh, and uh, disrespectful to the original Aztecs. Um, also, uh, with the combination of both schools, they, they didn't want any students to feel like like they're becoming Aztecs when they were gladiators. Uh, so it's, uh, those are the two primary reasons uh, that I had heard. To me, those are not 
not good reasons. Shouldn't they just leave it and worry about, like, the stuff you said, the, you know, the different clashes and the programs and stuff like that? I, 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 you bring up great points, Miss uh, Sophia, and I'm gonna, going to, again, ask that you share with, with uh, share your thoughts and, and concerns with, with the board, because um, uh, the board are the ones that, that, uh, that, that represent you, um, and that's the decision that, that, that they decided to, to vote on. Um, okay, so when is that meeting? Sorry. So the, there's a meeting this Tuesday, February 1st, it's gonna be virtual. Okay. Um, uh, but also on the youth, on the youth, survey, it is a good time to add your comments on there as well. Okay. I think I did that already. Can I do yeah. another one? You can. Um, and, and, you know, if, if you think, like, your partner or, or your husband or if you have, a, 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 you know, somebody else, another adult in the, in the house that would want to fill it out, they can do that as well. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Uh, uh, welcome, Ms. Miriam Hernandez. Uh, we're just about wrapping right Coming up, this is a question and answer part. Uh, any other questions? And that will conclude our Cafe Azteca chat with the principal. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us here at the Parent Center or at the Resource Center where the thrift store is located. My name is Marta Martinez. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at 626-815-3413. Thank you. Goodbye.